Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the m and Show. We're your hosts. I'm Meredith. And I'm Emma. And today we're going to be talking to you about our successful winter sports season as well as the 2018 to 2019 school year. First, we're going to start off with the winter swim team and see how well they did this season. Mary, would you like to talk to The 50 freestyle is my personal favorite event because it's short and fast and you get it over with quickly. <laughs> In addition to the 50 freestyle, I'm also a 100 butterflyer, which is four laps of butterfly. It's not my favorite thing to do, but I can swim it decently, and I'm pretty much the only one who can do it. So, like, it's fine. Um, we also had a bunch of pack all team um, this year, including my girls' free relay, which was Anna Curran, myself, um, Katie Parker, Emma Thomas, and Alyssa DeFlavia. It was really fun because we made a district cut and got to swim at LaSalle for two days um, at the end of the season. And we went all-time best and um, had a really great time doing it. So, Mayor, when you swim, what is your favorite memory that you've had swimming so far? My favorite memory of swimming for Springford has probably just been being a part of the team and getting to do a lot of things like go to Shady Maple in the beginning of the season and kind of bond. I also really like meeting the new kids that come, especially like the freshmen that come up and like seeing how like they're really nervous to be on the swim team. And um, we get to swim at our sinus, which is like really cool because we also get to experience the college aspect of it and watch the college swimmers swim and talk to them um, before our swim meets. And we also have um, a great time as a team bonding through some relays that are fun at the end of practice and our coaches really keep the team aspect like a priority for them. That's amazing, that's awesome. <laughs> so Emma, I heard you're part of the Springford Cheer team, why don't you tell us about it? So for cheer, as the season starts, there's always tryouts in the beginning which go by really quick and are a lot of fun. It's amazing to see some of the freshmen come up on the team and it's great to make new friends with them. So we have so many different stunts. We teach all the girls and it's an amazing time learning and teaching all the freshmen and sophomore girls. And then towards the end of the season, we always do parties like little Christmas parties and we always get together and do team dinners throughout the season, which is great bonding experiences. And we always play games and exchange gifts and always just the vibe is just amazing. And then towards the end of the summer, we always go to a camp, Pine Forest, which is like right outside of Trenton, New Jersey. And it's amazing. There's so many different schools there. And they all come, we all come together and learn new cheers, new stunts, just basic things in cheerleading that you need to know. And there's a lot of fun along with that because we can decorate our cabins where we sleep because we're there for a few days. And there's always themes, which is so much fun because everyone gets involved with decorating the cabin and dressing up. So this year it's going to be a circus theme. So we're all going to decorate our cabin circus themed and dress up with stuff that relate to the circus. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. And along with cheer, one of our seniors that graduated, she tried out to be a UCA instructor for the camp, which is an amazing job to have during summer. She's actually going to Temple University, and so we can't wait to see what big things she does in the future. Which um, season do you, would you say you prefer? Do you prefer cheering for the football team, or do you like the winter season when you cheer for the basketball team? I think it varies all the time, because during the fall season, you're out on the field right near the boys cheering and the crowd's amazing and the energy's insane and you always get to see everyone's school spirit and it's just such an amazing time. But with winter cheer, you're on the court so you're also close to the boys and you're also watching the game but it, they go by so quick which is crazy and you also still get to see the school spirit so definitely I would have to say both for that if I can. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things personally about our school is the school spirit we have. And the cheerleading team is a big part of our um, homecoming pep rally. Mm -hmm. Do you really enjoy doing that? I do enjoy that a lot. I actually have so much fun because we do the powder puff with all the boys, the senior, seniors and juniors. So that's always fun doing, which the cheerleaders actually do coach the powder puff boys. So this year I got to experience coaching the boys. So I had so much fun doing that. And then we also 
do pep rally, so we perform a dance, and it's always so much fun learning a new dance and teaching the dance to everyone on the team and then performing it in front of the entire school to see, which is amazing. Was it ever frustrating to you trying to coach the um, pep rally boys? Like, were they ever a little difficult? They were very difficult at some points. <laughs> they definitely got on my mind and made me a little mad sometimes. But in the end, it was all definitely worth it because we had such a fun time coaching them and it definitely was just such a fun new experience for me and I can't wait to do it next year. It's crazy to think that homecoming was almost all the way back from in September and here we are like just kicking off the beginning of the fourth marking period. So the school year is over before we know it. How was your junior year? My junior year was great. How was yours, Mayor? Um, it, was, it was a little rocky but <laughs> we're doing good. Um, I'm really excited though for the end of the school year because it's a lot of fun. Um, like the seniors, they have their um, decision day on May 1st, which is really cool to see where everyone's going to end up going. And in addition to that, we have prom in a few weeks, which I really like how our school, we do the prom boutique, I believe. Oh, yeah, and it's like yes. girls can take their dresses from the year before. And it's really only like $20 and you can pick out a dress that was donated. And it's really cool to see our community um, do things like that that are really special to everyone. Um, but in addition to that, we have finals Doing in almost finals. a month, <laughs> AP test. Um, so it's going to be a stressful end of the school year, but it was a good year. So thank you so 